Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Outgroove. This is one of my favorite type of episodes where we do something a little different. I went a little wild, did something I haven't done in a long I've never done this actually. On Amazon, I'll buy records. I have like a little wish list. You know, there's also a Reddit group called Cheap Vinyl, I think. And I will go through there every now and then and get something. Uh, and but at the most, I bought two, maybe three vinyls at once. I have eight records, eight records that I bought on Amazon. I'll have the description, the links below as an Amazon affiliate. Um, I get a little taste of that, but there's no change in price for you. So I have eight records here, all purchased on Amazon, all worthy of vinyl purchase which is my highest honor that is a four biscuit or five biscuit record okay if i like it i download it if i like it a lot i will buy the cd perhaps if i love it and i want to keep it and i need to hear it in analog form i buy the record so these were all purchased so these are all things i really want that's number one Number two is every one of these albums are less than 20. In fact, I think they're almost all less than $18, which for me is a sweet spot. Once you get to like 16 to $19, I'm like, okay, that's where I'm at. Because you go to a record store and you're paying 25 to 30 bucks. So I know though, Amazon Bezos, so I know. So there's some negatives. And I go to Record Store Day, which you know. So I do support local record shops. Hell, all these record shops, they know me. I mean, you know. Okay, so here we go. So we do it. I have, they're, they're just sealed. I haven't even opened them yet. So I know what they are, but here we go. First one. What is it going to be? By the way, I do like these old mailers. There's different ones here. They got different ones, but I do like these mailers. Okay. I keep them because sometimes I'll sell stuff, sell some records. But oh, interesting. We're starting off with something different. This is Floating Points' album Promises. This is a um, classical instrumental with some experimental elements to this album. I'm excited about this. Um, we do have a video on the channel with this album. Let's take a look at this. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Oh, it's kind of fun. Uh, single album with some art. Yeah, very fun. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. This will be a fun record to listen to. Maybe Sundays, mornings, or something. Um, yeah. Floating, floating Points, Pharaoh Sanders, and the London Symphony Orchestra. Promises. Dude, stoked about this. Very cool. I'm stoked about all these. But, uh, should I keep that bag or no? Nah, I don't like these bags. Okay, number two. Now, there's a bunch of this one artist, so we're going to get... We're going to go back to improv. Oh, speaking of... Coulter Wall, Imaginary Appalachia. This album was in 2017. Is this his first? No, this is not his first album. Uh, it's a 45 RPM. That's interesting. I'm going to have to remember that. This is a 45. Huh. Usually when you have these larger 12-inch albums that are at 45, they're considered a little bit more higher higher quality uh audio wise so that's interesting i'm excited i really like culture wall young kid from canada i believe like saskatchewan something like that and he does country but he has a voice that is just to me so interesting fat some people call it johnny cash i can hear some johnny cash but I wouldn't say the Johnny Cash clone. What else? Oh, a classic. Chet Baker sings. 
Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this cover, but I love Chet Baker, one of my favorite. Uh, started out, you know, a trump, trumpetist, trump, trumpeter, trumpet, trumpist, trumpetist, trumpetist or trumpeter? trumpeter. <laughs> I don't know, he put the trumpet. Uh, and then he got into singing, and so he sings. And I'm excited about this. This was like, it's like 14 bucks on Amazon. And I've had this on my wish list for like a year. So I just said, screw it, let's get it. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I like Jet Baker. I like it. I like him. He's got an interesting voice. He's got a couple albums there that I really like. So he's worthy of the conversation in jazz, I would say. Which, a little disappointing that um, the PBS one by Ken Burns never mentioned him, but... Dude, jazz is so huge. They just don't have time to go through everybody, right? Oh. So this is the na the one out of the eight that I would say is maybe borderline, to be honest. But it was normally like 30 bucks and just recently went down to like 18, so I just picked it up. This is um, Neil Young's new album, Barn. And I did a review on this as well. I like this album a lot. Don't know if it really needs to be bought on vinyl though, but it was cheap and I have a bunch of his other albums and it sounds good. So uh, I got it. So I'm really excited. They recorded it in this little barn. This is the barn on the land of uh, his wife. Or are they just partners? Wife or partners? Um, Daryl Hannah. Yeah, out in, out in um, Wyoming or someplace. Or maybe one of the Dakotas. But fun, fun album. Check it out if you're into that kind of world. By the way, I just got into an artist called um, Sun Sunkill Moon, and his real name escapes me right now. I want to say it's Mike or something. His real name escapes me, but Sunkill Moon is. We're gonna do some reviews on him. He is pretty fascinating. I really like him. Oh, what do you know? Another culture wall. This is Western Western Swing and Waltzes. This is the newest album, I believe. Uh, it's got Cowpoke. This is a great song. The Cowpoke is a great song. The, yeah, this came out just last this last year. Um, really excited about this. Yeah. There's a, there's Big Iron by Marty Robbins. There's a couple traditional songs here too. Big fan of Culture Wall. Now, his voice did change. His first album sounded very kind of a gravelly and just like, like it's just like a bunch of rocks grinding in a, in a pot. And um, he changed. So that's the only album with that type of voice. And now he has a little bit more smoother voice. It's a little disappointing. What is this one? Oh, I forgot about this one. Lana Del Rey. Now, it's not ultraviolet, it's not Kim Trails Over the Countryside, but it is Born to Die, and this is a good album. It's very good. I think I do like Ultraviolence more, but this is good. I'm excited about Lana Del Rey. She is, she is the real deal. One of my favorite. Um, I actually probably do like her more than Adele. Adele, you know, she's got that big body voice. But Lana Del Rey's got this little bit of spice, a little bit of sauce in her that I really dig. Um, it's just a, uh, maybe a sensuality, something. Okay, let's open this next one. This one's giving me issues. I'm gonna have to just bust it up. Sometimes the perforation just doesn't go all the way and then you have to kick some ass. Okay, I got two more. This is pretty fun. For me, it's fun. Okay, here's the first album, Coulter Walls, just called Coulter Wall. Um, again, 2017. This is epic. Really, really excited about this. So, yeah, this will be fun, dude. This will be a lot of fun. And last but not least, oh, I know who this is. Oh, this is this is fun. The last one which is Bella White. Just Like Leaving. I did a review on this one as well. This album is wonderful. She's such a sweet, 
great voice. I love the voice. I love the music. This is a great album. Please go watch that review. So out of my eight albums here, I've got three culture walls. Okay. So we've got country. And then Bella White's kind of a folky, right? So we got culture wall. We've got Neil Young, which is kind of a, you know, country-ish. Not country, but folk rock. We've got a jazz album, Chet Baker. We've got some pop with Lana Del Rey. And uh, the first one we've got is Floating Points, which is kind of nice too. It's kind of more of an instrumental stuff. So um, very excited. I got some albums. And this was all under, uh, you know, I had some gift cards and such. But yeah, this was like around 100 bucks. So not a bad, not a bad deal. Very excited to go through these. Um, probably do not need to get records for a while. I think I'm good. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Um, what do we got next? We are going to talk about Sun Kill Moon. We're going to talk about, um, I still have a couple more headphone videos to do. Blah, blah, blah. I can't remember. Check out my other channels. I'm doing this film project. You can check out that one on my personal. I also have the, com the Art of Comics there too. So check that out. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye guys.